real quick. So mm -hmm. Von Miller posted a picture with <laughs> with Derrick Henry working out. And you know, you know how Bill's Mafia gets, right? Well, you oh. know where that started, right? I think it started like on NFL Live or First yeah. Take or one of those one of the big media outlets. Um right. there was a thing of what's your big off-season prediction and they said derrick henry gets traded i saw that yeah. <laughs> right, right. can you imagine a derrick henry and josh allen back it'd uh, be unbelievable but i right? i have to ask you because you're the guy that knows this i know henry gifts got an extension like a year ago or so right um a couple years ago okay a couple years ago so i don't know his he's in the I last year of his deal Okay, so that that's that, so okay, so is that what you're getting at? <laughs> yeah, so Bean will have to factor this in once again because yep. you think this guy is going to come to a team where you know he doesn't want to get paid. Of course they do, and they're going to want to lock him up. We are obviously in some trouble with money. So, well, we're if only we in trouble with money. We're only in trouble yeah, with money until we renegotiate. No, I get it. Yeah, contract. we have correct. We have some. We have some loop things we can. Brandon yeah. Bean knows what to do, right? He has, to, but it doesn't matter. Still, even after he does that, how much do we have? And we got to sign rookies. You still got free eight. You can't just go after one so, guy and be done with it. I listened to Locked On Bills. You got to give somebody up. You got to give your picks yeah. up, right? <laughs> so, so you, you know, I listen, I listen to Locked On Bills a ton. Mm -hmm. I'm a big Joe Marino fan. Yeah, good guy. Yeah, like, like. yep. He had Greg Tonset on, who I'm a, I'm a big fan of Greg. Greg knows. Yeah, he knows his stuff. Power cap better than almost anybody right. else yes. out there. Um, I, mean, I would not I know, debate I know, either one yeah. anytime soon. <laughs> I, I know the salary cap pretty well. I don't, I, you know, Greg makes me look like, you know, like, like a rookie. I don't know crap compared to that guy. That guy just knows the ins and outs. So they had their big uh, cover one suspect fact killer and they went through and they were able to create anywhere from 35 to 50 million without really doing anything. All right. Major. Which is a lot. It, it is. But that money can go quickly. On a couple of free agents, honestly, <laughs> depending so, on who you get. So, well, let's, let's talk about this. So, we're talking about yeah. Derrick Henry. Sure. Derrick, Derrick Henry has a sixteen point three million dollar cap hit. Right, right. Um, he has ten million in dead cap. If they mm -hmm. trade him, I don't know how the trade piece works out. I'm, I'm not that in depth on it. But ultimately, he has a base salary of ten million, a signing bonus of three million, a roster bonus of two point three, and some miscellaneous stuff that's out there. Right. Um, at the, so at the end of the day, it, we would probably take on the majority of that 16.3, but as soon as he got to us, it would have to be a reworked contract, Correct. whether we go, uh, you know, give him a three-year extension or a five-year extension with two dead, you know, so we can spread the money out and do all that mm -hmm. stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But we'll also be giving up picks. Now, Derrick Henry's turning 30 next year. Right. And I was going to get to that. So, so, so. turn 30 <laughs> next year. So you're with, not going to... With... Bear in mind, too, I hate to interrupt you. Not only is he turning 30, which is, they always say, this is where running backs start to go downhill. He has a lot of tread on those tires, my friend. Yeah. He, he's yeah. built like a goddess, no doubt. He he is a machine, but he still has a lot of miles on that tread. He has a lot of hits but taken on him. You go back and you look at the last guy who's kind of built like him. It was Eddie George. Eddie George played well Tennessee. into his third. Yeah, sure. Fred, so did Fred Jackson, Adrian Peterson. Adrian yeah. Peterson. Don't like a, yeah, I get it. Because, I get it. You know, every there's certain they're not, guys. That, yeah. The reason the reason why those guys play so well and play so long is because the the traits that tend to fall off are those quick twitch traits. So the mm. Shady McCoys and little Damian Tomlinsons and those guys right. who just make someone miss and then go and break. You know the big guys. The APs, the Eddie Georges, the Derrick Henrys, they're more bowling ballish to where they're, they may lose a little bit of speed. So that long breakaway 80 yarder mm -hmm. may be a 50 yarder and someone, someone younger catches him later right, on. Right, right, right. But that doesn't change the fact that the guy could probably go and probably, probably tell us, I'm guessing another three to four superstar years. Um, yeah. He could probably, if if someone wanted to, they could probably stretch him if they brought him a second back with him and gave him some. They could probably stretch him until he's thirty five. But then I got another question: Why though would Tennessee get rid of him? Like, are they are they? See, Tennessee to, to, was in cap cap purgatory. But so are we? And yeah. I'm sure no, there's I mean, a way they could. Yeah, I mean they were they were in bad bad cap purgatory. <laughs> right. They 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 uh, 
fired the GM, brought in a new GM. Correct. They cut Taylor Lewan. They cut um, Nate Davis. They cut a couple other guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, They're starting to retool the roster. So do you keep a 30-year-old Derrick Henry at $16 million? Right. When you're cuz chances are Tannehill's out the door too. So now you're completely right. starting over. Do you keep a 30 30 year old Derrick Henry or do you go get the asset for him? Depending on what the asset is. I mean, they would really have to I'm guessing okay, so you a, get, I, I guess, I'm guessing it's going to be a second or third uh, that they're going to want for him. I don't know. Listen, you just said that he could possibly have 3, 4, 5 superstar year left, right? No, so I, I I think anywhere from from one to three superstar years left, I think they can okay, probably so get two extra years if, okay, they, if okay. they went into a timeshare. So let's say so let's, big. Let's cut in the middle. Let's say two years, right? Let's say he has two years a superstar kind of talent okay. where he's just still a beast. So they would they're, they're going to get rid of a superstar talent that's two years remaining, at least what they think you know is, is possible. They and, and they would have to replace that player with something, right? Like now you lost their. They do have young backs on their roster. They do, but they're not a Derrick Henry. They're no, not a pop. They, they played it totally solid. changes the game. They, yeah. they, they played solid in his absence when he got hurt. They, they did. They did. But you also them that. just lost Derrick Henry's entire offensive line. That's true. Now, our, now, and I will say too, it's not always bad to if if, yep. if, if the Tennessee Titans are are um, starting over. They're like mm-hmm. let, let's say that's what they're doing. That's their plan, and, and we did it here in Buffalo. Right, we cut shady. Mm-hmm. We did some stuff. We 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 got rid of a lot of uh, big time players. We took our lumps in, in eight. And, and we did, and it was a, it was a complete flush. It was own pretty much a complete flush, and and a re, and a rebuild. Right. Um. If that if that's what Tennessee's doing, then yeah, I could definitely see a trade possible. Mm-hmm. Um. Now, but that could be anywhere. Right. Uh. Yeah. Just because Von Miller's taking a picture with, he could take a no, picture with anybody. Right. Well. So that means Von nothing. Thing, the Von Miller thing has, has been out there. It wasn't until after the guy on ESPN came out. And I know. It was ES- I think yeah. it was ESPN came out and said that, that you know, that's where he would want to see him go. But if we're going to pay, just say we reduce trade form, right? Say we give up a third round. A two has a tango, by the way. Yeah. So say, say just uh, hypothetical, we give up a third round for him. We, we take on the $16 million, We redo mm-hmm. the cap. We give him a couple, a couple extra years. We spread it out. Mm-hmm. And now, you know, we give him an extension for like two years. And say twenty two, which is like eleven million a year, plus yeah. sixteen. You, you you break it out. You add two more years on at the end. You can spread it out over five years. You right. know you get you get the cap down to about seven. You know for for this year, you get his cap yeah. down to like seven or mm-hmm. about, yeah, let's say seven. Great, that's fa- that's fantastic. Do you want a thirty year old Derrick Henry, or do you want to go look at a twenty five, twenty six year old Josh Jacobs? Hmm. Yeah, so I know Josh Jacobs is a free agent. I get that, he is. right? Where you um, don't have to give up that third round pick. It's interesting, but I will say the difference between the both is <laughs> I like the fact that Derrick Henry can work with uh, and maybe because listen, we're going to build our offensive line. I hope, mm-hmm. and it's still because it probably will be young will go through a little speed bumps, right? It's not going to be perfect right away, maybe how they want it to be. I hope it is, but it probably won't be. But Derrick Henry is a type of back that can uh, doesn't need a perfect offensive line to get very good yardage, right? Like he can literally run over a lineman, right? Like mm-hmm. that's the, that's the thing we've been missing in Buffalo. Like, I still think Devin Singletary, Devin Singletary was a good running back. It's just we had terrible offensive line play, and it, it and listen, Devin Singletary is not going to run anybody over. Like he can he he he's tough. I get it. Like he's not an easy takedown, mm-hmm. but he's no Derrick Henry. Like Derrick Henry can go up right in the middle and, and, and get more yardage. And you know what I'm saying. So like. I, I kind of feel like okay, I, so, I, I like Josh Jacobs, but I don't know if okay. Josh Jacobs would be good with this offensive line rebuild we're doing. So Josh Jacobs is also a better pass catcher. 100%. So, but okay, but let me let me go away from Josh Jacobs. What about Jamal Williams? Another big back who would come in cheaper than what we'd pay for Jacobs, who has from that the goal lines. line. Yep. Right. 
Interesting. It's another interesting who you, who story. you could pair with Cook. Okay, so here's the deal with Jamal. I like Jamal, but he had one solid season, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, he's had more than one solid season. Yeah, he but just, that was his that was his breakout year. Yeah, last this year. was his breakout, breakout year. One that I don't know if 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 we'll see if if that trend continues with him. There's okay. been running backs that had breakout years and that just totally flopped the next right. That were like, oh man, there's been plenty. I get where you're going at. Save your draft pick, but if it's a third round, well, a not third just round draft pick. Uh, no, no, I'm just saying. I know money, money too. I get it, but if I'm just saying draft pick wise, so third round Brandon Bean's been not very anyways <laughs> third round pick. So what are we really giving up? Another bad pick. I I would be good with the third round, no doubt. Second round, uh, I, I'm a little, I'm a little, I don't, I don't know if I like that. Now the money, Josh Jacobs going to want some money too. He's it's not like he's coming cheap. I think Jamal Williams, I think you can get a reasonable price, but. He had a good year. He's going to want to get paid a little bit too, right? So he's he want to be coming in at no cheapy, you know, uh, uh, you know, cheap deal. It wouldn't be as high as a Henry or, or Josh yeah. Jacobs, but Josh Jacobs had a phenomenal year. Um, he, yeah, he's going to want some money, right? Uh, so I don't know if that would be a cheap. The only thing we would save on a Josh Jacobs would be the draft pick, which if it's really if it boils down to a third round. And let's say even a set sixth or something or a seventh or you know whatever mm-hmm. a sixth to follow, I, I would I think I'd rather go that route than the Josh Jacobs for almost the same money because I think it's going to be around that same money. Okay. He's going to okay. kind of require that. Okay, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you two more names. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Saquon Barkley, who may get franchise tax, but he may not be on the market. <sighs> who is 26? I like him. I, I do. I know. Who would yeah. probably command that 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 uh, Derek Henry? He had a good season money. too. He had a good bounce back season. Yep. But he's all he's a better pass catcher. And then the he other is. one is Kareem Hunt, twenty seven. Okay, so Kareem Hunt. I'm gonna say Kareem Hunt. No, right away. I I I was with the trade this season if we were gonna trade for him because he could have helped this season. The problem with Kareem Hunt is he's had a lot of off-field things going on in the past. And I don't know if they would be willing to to bring him in. You already see Kamara, by the way, is I mean, having I, some, yeah. some drama yeah. on his end. I was, so I was you've got to be really – Football perspective. Yeah, football. I think – listen, I think Kareem Hunt was a steal for the Browns when they had him for that. Like, that was – wow, like – Unbelievable! They got him for a cheap deal because he because he was well, out of the yeah, league. Yeah, he, he played for six million last year. That's what I mean. But even his first year, he came there, just went there. He was just looking for a team yeah. to play on. Like you know and what I mean? So like they gave him a two year, fourteen million or fifteen yeah. million extension. He, he, so he played for like six and seven million the last two years. I, yeah, I listen. I, I you know depending on the price, but you also got to they also have to know there's a risk with him because yep. he's had off field. So that's one, and I don't think I don't think. Brandon Bean or Sean McDermott would go for a player like that. I'm just throwing that out there. So I'm gonna I would scratch him off that just because of that. Okay. Uh who's the other player you named? Saquon. Okay, Saquon's interesting. Now he had a major injury and he wasn't the same player for like what two seasons? He kind of had a rough two-season patch there. He had a good bounce back this year because he was finally fully healthy. Mm-hmm. Um, but how many was it ACL that he had? Was that his first major yeah. injury? <laughs> Yeah, he had the ACL um, two years ago, and then last year he had a really bad ankle with a really bad offensive line. He, okay. like, stepped wrong and did something to his ankle, and then he was out for – like, he ended up playing, like, 13 games that year but didn't have a great year because their offensive line was crap. And, I mean, okay. that, that they had uh, Jake Fromm quarterbacking that year. I know, I know. Um, excuse me. Um, so, listen, I would be cool with Saquon, but it would depending on the money. Mm-hmm. I, I, it's a little bit of risk factor as well. I know he had a bounce back year, um, but uh, the injury history kind of worries me a little bit. Depending on what they're going to pay him, that's one. I want to if they do sign him, I want to do anything long term. Like you know what I mean, two year contract at best, right? Got to be careful with that. Um, now, Derrick Henry has he had any major injuries? I know he had the foot he sustained his foot two years ago. Broke his foot, right? And he was out for what? Half the season or most of the season or something like that? Uh, Second half of the season, I think he was out. Yeah, he came back for the playoffs. 
Okay. You're right. He did. He missed a lot of games and wound up and didn't do anything in the playoffs. They wound up losing yep. uh, first round to um, who was it that beat him? To uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. That's right. And they were the first, they were the, they were the first round uh, yep. <laughs> number one in the AFC, which is wild. Yep. Um, yep. So I don't know. That Man, Mikey, that is a, it's tough. I'm going to admit, I admit, okay, I, this but, running back class, this running yeah. back class for agent class is deep. Because guys yeah. that I didn't talk about, Flyers, Ronald Jones Jr. Or the second. I like him from Tampa. Yep. Miles Sanders. Dante Foreman. Yep. Okay, Foreman. Uh, from, had a nice year. Samaje P. Ryan. P. Ryan's tough runner, I, I, but I think I'll pass on him. Jarek McKinnon. The, I like him. Yeah. Yeah. You it's know, definitely deep. Rashad yeah. Penny. Um, Moser. You know, so they, they, there's Moser, definitely okay. a very heavy – uh, running back, you know, for agent. Class. So here's what I want though. Out of all the running backs, like some of those I would skip because they're, I don't like the size. Yeah. I am. We drafted James Cook second round. You better use him, right? Like, like, <laughs> like you got to figure something out. Mm-hmm. And I felt like he played, I felt the game slowed down a bit for him last season. He needs to bulk up a little bit, which I think he will. Uh, but I still think we've been missing that bruiser running back that three down kind of, you know, back in a way. I like James Cook. and I think James Cook can be used out the backfield more. If, if Ken Dorsey gets more creative with him, he definitely could be a, a weapon, a big weapon. But I would, I really want that ground and pound type running back. And there's a few that you mentioned, Hunt, Derrick Henry. I think Josh Jacobs can be that kind of running yep. back, right? Then you um, still have... Uh, Saquon Barkley can be that David kind of Montgomery. running back. David Montgomery's Montgomery, a yeah, Montgomery, uh, Foreman, Foreman was yeah. a, is a tough oh, running back. Foreman's a good one. Tony Pollard, I don't think Dallas yeah. is gonna let him go, but he's a free agent. Damian Harris, mm-hmm. out of mm-hmm. uh, New England, he's gonna be yep. a free agent. Yep, yep, yep. You know, so there are there's a plenty of backs out there. I mean, James Robinson, Miles Gaskins, you know, Marlon yeah. Mack. Uh, yeah, you know, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, like I don't want to undersize Bruce. Like I don't care what. I don't want to hold that whole Zach Moss situation. You want a bigger, you want a bigger. I want to, I want what we had when we had, um, Fred Jackson. We had, no, well that too. But when we had the last time we had, it was Shady McCoy and Carlos Williams. Okay. Carlos Williams was that six foot two straight, straight line runner with a little bit of speed, but he had a little bit of power. He's a bigger back than a shady. He was a good, he was a good back to come in on, on certain plays. And he had like, if he didn't have, some, you know, the off field thing that he went through, he had, I think he uh, tied an NFL record that year uh, for like six straight games of touchdown. Like he was a solid back, especially in the red zone. We used him a lot. And when Shady needed a breather, he came in, he did very well, but it was a different pace type of running back, totally different pace. And I, we never had that. We haven't had that since then we've been running these smaller backs it's been a problem, right? Like uh, you have, you know, you have Singletary, you go get the same player with, with less talent, in my opinion, right? Who they thought, I don't know what they were thinking. Cause the, I, I understand he did good in college, but this is different, man. You're going against some big boys. We didn't have the offensive line and, and it just didn't work out. That was a bad selection by, by Brandon Bean. It was a bad pick. Yeah. By the way, I was talking about,